In patients with liver disease associated with deficient alpha-1 antitrypsin, or AAT, the disease results from accumulation of mutant ZAAT protein in hepatocytes. A new study examined whether fazirsaran, an RNA interference therapeutic, could reduce liver concentrations of ZAAT in patients with AAT deficiency-associated liver fibrosis. In this Phase II multinational open-label study, 16 patients received subcutaneous fazirsaran at a dose of 100 or 200 mg on day 1, at week 4, and every 12 weeks thereafter. The primary endpoint was the change from baseline over time in liver concentrations of ZAAT, as measured by liquid chromatography tandem mass spectrometry of liver biopsy specimens. All 14 evaluable patients had reductions in ZAAT liver concentrations at week 24 or 48, with a median reduction of 83%. In a secondary endpoint, large reductions in serum concentrations of ZAAT were also observed at week 6. Seven of the 12 patients who received the 200 mg dose had regression of fibrosis. Two had progression of fibrosis. During 1.5 years of follow-up, there were no deaths, treatment discontinuations, or dose interruptions. Four serious adverse events occurred. All were of moderate severity, and all resolved. The authors conclude that in a small group of patients with AAT deficiency-associated liver fibrosis, the RNA interference therapeutic fazirsaran reduced liver concentrations of ZAAT protein without apparent safety concerns. Full study results are available at NEJM.org.